<laughs> All right, boys. <laughs> As you can see, Jeremy's in the back seat. We got Jared Collins. Oh, oh. oh you see, could barely see him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, nice. How's it going, Jared? It's nice hello, to have Jared. you on hello. this episode. Hello, hello, hello. 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 If you don't know, this is Jared. Jared Collins. Jared been Collins. our friend since the third grade. So been my friend. Longer. Yeah, since yes. kindergarten. Yes. This is the old school group, excluding this guy. Yeah. I'm no school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a controller. Controller. Yeah. Like a controller. Controller. You know what? Since you're in a I'm relationship, like a yeah. Ooh, let's, let's talk, talk about, about being too controlling. Ooh, Ooh I control. Oh. If anybody you know is too controlling, and you gotta let them know, By send them to this video. Baby. If they're not letting you watch this video, they're watch this yeah. video. <laughs> yeah, watch this video. Send them the link to this video. Hey, you're being too controlling. Cool it down, or we'll kick your ass. Or we're gonna control you. Yeah, cause you know what to do. <laughs> That's the choice. <laughs> choice. Um, Kanye West was Shout on. out to Kanye. <laughs> Alright, so Kanye. has anybody experienced a very controlling relationship? I feel like you should start. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this in <laughs> <Not> gonna <lie. laughs> historical <laughs> order. Alright. So junior year. <laughs> historical? <laughs> Am I that old now? All right, Dude, I so I've in been days. in a few relationships and because it's very early on or like it was my like rookie relationship, my rookie year of my relationship, um, I dealt with a lot of things that should not have sli slid. Like I was not able to go on Instagram and mm. like any of my friends pictures basically or any of my girl friends pictures. Shout out to Andrea. And then I also um, I ghosted a lot of my friends just to hang out with this person because they would get jealous per se and also like I would have to skip out on work because this person would get sad and angry at me and would just be sus about me I remember like her being sus that I'm like hitting on people on Instagram but like she has all my social media like passwords and stuff that's already yeah that's, that's already, already bad. that's already a, a bad. bad that's a red flag that's don't let no, it happen no. to you that's don't no, don't no. get played. You don't, gotta, sure. you don't gotta share passwords. Yeah, no, you don't. You really don't. You, there should be a lot of trust in a relationship. If you're committed, exactly. Mm -hmm. Watch the commitment episode. But yeah, so yeah, if you can hear Jared scratching, then he's scratching. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um yeah um, she would trip out about that. I would comment on my friend's pictures, and like she would be jealous just because like I'm hanging out with them, but she's in a different city. And like I would, even though I would do everything like for her, pretty much, or I, I at least I think I tried to, I like really tried to, just to make her comfortable. So I deleted all my social media, and then like I also got a new job, just so I can devote more time to her because I was in college at uh, one point in time, or at some point in time while she's still in high school. So yeah, being in a controlling relationship, it's it's a really big one way street. Um, there's gonna be a lot of arguments about petty things uh, You shouldn't deal with those things because you deserve the most um, Please don't be too controlling because that's just gonna stress you out mm -hmm. That's gonna stress your partner out and being in a relationship uh, You guys aren't supposed to stress each other out. Yeah, that's my philosophy. Just keep each other happy Make sure you guys trust each other a hundred percent. If you have any questions talk it out uh, There's no need for arguing and remember that Try not, try not to hurt anybody's feelings. If you have concerns, uh, bring it to the table, but don't argue because argue, arguments don't solve anything. Like you're just mm -hmm. making like rules that shouldn't be there or exactly. boundaries that boundaries that shouldn't be there. Exactly. So don't do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Jeremy. In yeah. my past, back in my day, man, this boy old. Uh, <laughs> I think I learned from my second relationship that. Being controlling is bad the hard way, mm -hmm. because Were I was I, I, yeah. think, I think I was the yeah. one that was controlling. Yes, because damn, I'll get send him the link to this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch this every day now. But I was very, I was pretty controlling on her. Like when she would when she would go out with friends, I'm like, oh man, there's a guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Like I'd be like, oh man, Dang, this and you get angry. Like you get angry. 
No, okay, I remember there's, there's, she had this one friend. They're pretty good friends for a long time. That, he liked her at one point, but then we got together. So I, I guess they just remained friends. But during passing period, I would have, I wanted the time to ourselves. Mm -hmm. But he would always be in her, that class before her. So he would be walking with her already. And then it would be like a three thing, three people thing. And I'm like, man. Who is that? Um, who is it? Elvin. Uh, Elvin. 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 Shout out to Elvin. Elvin. Who's Elvin? Elvin. That's the He's code Elvish. Name. He's Elvish. Elvin. Like Elvin. Elf. You got pointy ears. Melvin? We were uh, trying to avoid the name, but yeah. Was it Melvin? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, but like, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. So. Don't watch this. <laughs> Shout out to Melvin. <laughs> hey, you, you can watch it though. Get his views. But like, yeah. That's true. I don't it's know. not in the relationship. You know, I'm actually like matter. really sorry about that. We're past that. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, whenever, whenever I would like, when it, I was okay at the beginning, and then when I started getting more control, I guess I would be like, you know, I just wanted to be us two, and that's where it started falling apart, because I was setting boundaries, and boundaries make a person like feel like in a cage and stuff. Yeah. So it's they just want to break boundary. free. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's how relationships and break free. You know what's weird though? I didn't give her boundaries, and she still like did shady shit. To me. I feel like there has to be a balance. You have to set some boundaries, but yeah. they have to be reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, I didn't give any like crazy boundaries. I'm like, just don't cheat. Mm -hmm. But you know, some people can't. I think that was too bad. lenient. Was well, I lenient? saying don't cheat, and that's all you? Well, said? like that's a given, so right? What, you what, that's true, what, though. What that's kind of boundaries do you have in your relationship, right? Now? I don't. It's like everybody's single you, except Jared. You have to both agree yeah, on but, something. So it's like, oh, you can't, <laughs> no. you can't go out with a bunch of people of the opposite gender. Like a compromise, what? huh? Like a compromise. No, like how would like Jeremy? Like I understand you in a way because Vien, wait, she was. She it's had, fine. Uh, you had a lot of guys. We don't care anymore. So it was, I think it was okay <laughs> that you wanted to set some boundaries on her. Like she can't hang out with that many guys because, in in your oh, mind. Yeah. Everyone was just gonna like her again in the same way that they did before. Like yeah. That guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy. But, but you, like, he man. didn't put any boundaries on me. But you yeah, because she would never like you. <laughs> See, like, uh, okay, you, I'm sorry. the boundaries you should be setting are like, oh, this guy. Like, if a guy liked her currently, be like, oh, I wouldn't want you to hang out with him. But you shouldn't be like, no, you can't, because it's like it's their choice if they want to listen to you or not. It's just you're sharing each other's feelings, and then that's how that's how a compromise is made. But mm. like, if you say that, like, aren't you like hinting? Yeah, you are it? hinting. Up. But you can't really help who you're friends with, right? Yeah, you can't. So, so it's it, just like you have to be accepting yeah. of the fact that they'll have friends of the opposite gender, mm -hmm. and then the person you're dating should also be accepting the fact that their significant other won't be okay with that all yeah. of the time. Yeah. Yes. That you guys, sense. you guys have to um, come to the realization that you can't have things your way 100 percent of the time, and you just have to put uh, all your trust into yeah, your you significant other. You can't be controlling. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You have any thoughts, any, man? Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I've only been in one actual relationship, and it was the opposite of controlling on both sides. Like we were very, very chill about it. Like nothing, nothing really happened too much. But uh. Yeah, I mean, from like a stand standby point of view, and like seeing all of these other relationships happen, I I specifically avoided that when I went into the relationship, and so for me, I mean, not a popular opinion. I wanted a long distance relationship <laughs> because of the reason why I didn't want to be controlled, and I didn't want to have to control the other person too much. Long distance relationships aren't bad, by the way. I feel yeah. like that just means you weren't ready for a relationship. Yeah. You have commitment issues. Yeah, commitment issues. Speaking of commitment, <laughs> the last video about commitment. <laughs> if anyone is too controlling, please be aware because that'll that'll definitely stress you out. Um, but some people do like those kind of people, but y'all are crazy. But, you know, I don't judge. Um, Shout out to B. Rice. Oh! oh. Talk have about a friend. that one. All that right. one was... Hold on. Damn. Hold on. Go ahead. If I say stuff, she's gonna get angry. Cut that yeah, out. very angry. Cut that out. Yeah. But yeah, any final words? 
or you want me to conclude it? Just don't be controlling. Yeah, okay. try try not to. Try to be lenient. Set some boundaries. Yeah, there is boundaries that you should uh, have. But make sure that both of you guys agree yeah. on the boundaries yeah. before before proceeding. Make sure the boundaries make sense, yeah. dude. Like, and just because they don't say like a specific boundary, if it's a given, like don't cheat on anybody. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, come on, like, bro. Come on. That's a given, man. You don't have to say come everything. On, exactly. Yeah. If they don't know, then. And they but yeah, make sure if you have any thoughts, leave a comment, like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah. make sure you share the video. Thank you yeah. for watching this week's episode, and thank you to Jared again for coming JC. through on a win. JC. We'll see you in the next one. See ya. So, whoop.